Namaskar, hello, thank you so much for joining us and today we are going to speak about our favourite fashion accessory The humble yet elegant scarf So both of us, you guessed it right, are very very fond of scarves We have lots of them in different textures We think a scarf is a magical item when it comes to fashion It can really elevate an outfit, it can help break the monotony It can add a new dimension But most importantly, it is going to protect you from the elements of nature so we, both of us are tropical creatures, we are very intolerant to cold and we live in a cold country now, it rains most of the times. So especially for me, I like to keep my neck and my chest protected and what better way to do it than carry a beautiful, nice, elegant scarf. So today we will show you how to style your scarf in 10 different ways. I know that's a lot. And these stylings can be done for both males and females. So we don't believe in having separate styling for males and females. We believe that all scarves and all ways of wearing scarf yeah. are the same for males. Exactly. Males. We don't even have different collection for him and a separate one no. for me. I think those days of gender specificity in fashion, especially when it comes to accessories like scarf, are gone. Both men and women can wear any scarf and in any manner they wish. Exactly. So before we jump into the detailed steps what we will do is we will show you how each of those styling looks like on a formal and an informal wear so we'll show you how those scarves look with evening wear and also with casual wear and at the end we are going to talk you through each of the styles sure each of these stylings they are pretty simple they're easy to do and they're very practical which is the most important part so you might have you might have seen some models and some videos showing very fancy scarf knots with the scarf falling over your shoulder exactly i mean if you breathe the scarves come exactly. off your shoulder no no such impractical style this is functional fashion we are talking about exactly before we proceed a quick announcement guys remember the giveaway where i showed you a picture and i asked you to guess the total number of scarves in the racks the number is actually 39 no one unfortunately was able to give the exact correct answer however the first person to give the closest answer 35 was Anjana Raju from Thrissur of Kerala. Congratulations Anjana, you win a silk scarf from Ikotasar. It's going to reach you soon. Hope you like it.
So I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek. Now we are going to show you the 10 different ways. And we have our Harry Potter scarves. Here you go, you slither in. Thank you. And here's my Gryffindor scarf. So the first way we demonstrated was really very simple. You just grip it around your neck and let it hang in front. It looks good enough, right? It looks good enough. I mean, uh, my only complaint would be that it really doesn't protect my neck and my chest. So what would you do to do that then? I would take one of the sides and then just drape it over the opposite shoulder. I can make it shorter if I want my neck to be more protected. Now these scarves especially are quite long. So I can have one full 360 degree and then do a semi drape. Wow. This also looks nice. Now, and cozy. And cozy. This is very warm and cozy. Now one of the things you may have noticed in um, the formal wear section for this kind of a drape is that I tucked one of the sides inside my jacket and then the other side I just dropped it off my opposite shoulder like the pulley of a sari. I tried this once with an overcoat. It looks so beautiful and what I did is was that I got a nice golden brooch actually pinned it to my overcoat and it looked really nice and elegant. I can imagine. This is style number two. Style number three is also pretty simple. You just make one 360 degree loop around your neck and then let the two sides hang. As simple as that. And if you want to hold it in place, you can even tuck in this end inside one of the loops and that will ensure that the scarf not remains in place. Style number four is the opposite of this really. Instead of letting the ends hang in front of your body, you just cross them and let them hang at the back. You know, like the two ends of a dupatta. But just because it, this resembles a dupatta doesn't mean that this is a feminine style. A lot of men, a lot of Italian men too, who are yeah. supposed to be very fashionable, they wear the scarf this way. It looks really nice. I've seen this in films as well. Yes, yes. This is a very posh way of wearing a scarf. So, number five is a simple knot you just drape it around your neck and do just a simple simple knot this makes sure that the scarf stays in place now you can keep it loose you can keep it tight you can arrange the one of the ends the end that is at the top you can arrange it so that it covers more of your chest yeah. in fact with the silk scarf if you noticed um in our um, formal wear section with the silk scarf we almost arrange this like the ascot knot of cravat so i'm very fond of the cravat look of a scarf and um there are times when i would actually tuck it inside my shirt so the top bit of the scarf is just going to stick out and then there'll be um, my shirt and then there may or may not be a coat and I think that looks really smart and it's very comfortable too if you <laughs> always feel cold like me then that's a style that you can try for style number six is also similar to the knot but I think Vikram will be able to demonstrate this better because it is exactly like the simple knot of it's a tie it's actually like it? a necktie it's like yeah. wearing a necktie so all you need to do is you cross over once and then you take the same sleeve and cross over twice and make sure that you keep your fingers in here so that you can keep the loop open pull it in bring it from below and push it into that loop and loop so it's almost like wearing a simple straightforward necktie exactly and then you can also adjust the fabric to suit your style. You can pull it up, you can keep it down, you can uh, make it look exactly like a necktie or you can show off the top part and also use this top part to protect some extra coverage. It's actually like, very to warm. provide some extra yeah, coverage exactly. to your neck, yes. Because, because of the thicker material of the scarf compared to a necktie, when you tie it like this, it actually affords much more comfort, comfort and warmth to your neck. And just one thing to mention about this, exactly like wearing a necktie, one of the ends has to be shorter than the other. So the, the end that is actually going around and making the loop, that has, has to, to be, be longer. longer. 
The last four styles are quite similar and they are actually variations of each other. One of them is very popular. It's called the Parisian Knot and I'm sure you know about it. You have heard about it and you have done it. So for this style, you either fold the scarf in half or you just do a rough gather and then you fold it lengthwise into half, exactly half. Okay. Yep. Then you drape it around your neck. So there's loop one side. The loop can be in any side. I'm right handed. So this is an easy way of for yep. me to do things. You have a loop and then two, you have two ends. Just take the two ends through the loop and tighten it, adjust it. So this is called the Parisian knot and this is what everyone does. And this is my <laughs> favorite way of wearing a scarf when I'm going to work. The reason is I'm a late riser <laughs> and I always have to rush to work. This, I find this kind of um, a knot easiest to take off. So I just slide it around and there I go, keep it in my bag, wear my lanyard and pretend that I've been in the hospital for hours. Yeah. And I think you can't go wrong with this knot, the Parisian knot. It's so simple to do. It is very simple. And to it do. looks really nice. Yes. So this is the Parisian knot. And then there are three variations of this knot, which are sort of, they're called pretzel knot because it resembles a pretzel, but they're really variations of the Parisian. So let's start by folding it lengthwise into half. Okay. And once again, draping it around your neck. So this is the loop. We take the one to the front. Yeah. And loop it through. Right. Okay. Now this one, mm -hmm. instead of going in the same direction, we'll go in the opposite direction. Okay. Understood. Okay. So bring it over and then bring it on the other side. Hmm. Style number nine, once again, folding it lengthwise into half and draping it around your neck. Take the top one and once again, let it go through the loop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, just watch this carefully. You have got one end through the loop. This is the top part of the loop. This is the bottom part of the loop. Okay. Take the bottom part of the loop. Yep. And now you have got another loop here. Yes, I do. Now slide the free end through this loop. Okay. Hmm. And then I'll just nice. see how, how it looks like a pretzel with the two ends sort of yeah. intertwined. Exactly. It looks really nice. It is really nice. You can just so this tuck is it in. Yeah, exactly. And it, it it's going to so keep stylish. you warm. And these sorts of styles are um, more appropriate for slightly longer scarves. So these are longer scarves. Um, in fact, all of these styles that we are demonstrating today are for rectangular longish scarves. I think we have to do a completely different video on how to wear blanket scarves and square scarves and uh, short sale scarves. But let's concentrate on this for now. Sure. So we are almost at the end. We just have the 10th style to demonstrate now, which yep. is also a variation of the Parisian. Once again, folding it lengthwise into half, gripping it around your neck, mm -hmm. take any one end, let it go through the loop. Okay. Now here's the loop. Yep. Twist the loop. Twist. Twist. And then you have this little circle yep. here. Yep. Slide the free end through this circle and Brilliant. adjust. Wow. So I think of all the pretzel um, styles, this is easiest to do. You don't have to think about the bottom end or the top end or the bottom loop or the top loop. You just take any one end, let it go through the loop, twist the loop in any way you want and just slide the other end. Mm. That's it. That looks really nice. What do you think? And warm and comfy. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? So that's it from us today. I hope that you enjoyed this. We have got New Year's Eve coming up, Vikram. And are we going to wear our scarves on New Year's Eve? Well, we are going to remain at home because we would rather be safe than sorry. 
we will always advise you and recommend especially i as a doctor to be very careful coronavirus is still around follow the advice of the local health authorities if you are allowed to party on new year's eve then please try and do it outdoors with limited number of people and be socially distant and outdoors it is going to be cold so you have to keep yourself well protected also the more well protected you you are the more you maintain your body temperature the better your chances of not catching any sort of infection not just coronavirus even not the even simple just flu not even common flu exactly. exactly common cold so make sure when you step out this new year stay to take your morning walk or your evening stroll uh, make sure you use one of our ways of styling your scarf and let us know how you like this please like this video if you have enjoyed and we hope to see you later bye take care bye bye